Okay, I'm going to start off by using Delft Paint Pot. It's like probably one of the most beautiful colors I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, it's like a deep blue green color, which is the same color we're putting on our eye over the Delft. Uh, I'm using my 252 brush and I'm going to put this all over my lid, putting it just on the lid. And I'm going to come out here and kind of make a slightly winged, winged look. It's going to go pretty high. I kind of want it high. See how like this eye right here is pretty winged? I'm trying to mimic that side. So, so it's going to come way out here. Okay. I had already put soft ochre paint pot from my eyebrow tutorial a while ago on my, just as my brow highlight. So I'm just going to pull this pretty high up. Okay, so we get that kind of cat look. Then I'm going to go in using the deep blue green pigment. It's from the Hello Kitty. Mac. Oh gosh. I think I dumped some out. Crap. Anyways, I'm going to use my 239 brush. This is my favorite ever, 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 ever matte color. And I'm going to put this right on top of that Delft. The Delft really brings this color out. I mean, it's a fabulous color by itself, but with the Delft, it's like BAM. So. I, this is like probably my favorite color. I love purple, purples, and I love this like deep teal color on like anything. So I'm just putting that right on top of the um, Delft paint pot. Just following everywhere that the Delft is. Ooh, fallout. Make sure you tap off your brush really well. I'll clean that up in a second though. So I'm just going to... Okay. Then I'm going to be using a color called, eyeshadow called Stomp. It's by MAC. It's like really, really old. Um, they've discontinued it. But um, I'm just going to be going in with my 217 brush. Uh, probably one of my... Um, the stiffer. If you have more than one 217, get your stiffer one. Yeah. It's like a it's like a cross between a pink and like a, a purple. It's like a violet color. If you don't have this, because you probably don't, it's old. Um, then you can use like a brighter pink, like post haze, or you can actually even go in with a purple, which would be really pretty. And it's gonna serve as our base for that brighter pink that we put there. I'm going to use probably the milk pigment. It's also Hello Kitty. It's like a really pretty pearlescent pink color. It has some violet undertones. That's why I kind of wanted to put more of the violet in there versus like just a pink. Um, just something with the pink and the purple. And I'm going to be using um, my Fluffier 217 brush. So I'm just kind of dabbing it there because you'll get fallout from this one too. So, and I'm blending that in right with that pink that violet color and the deep blue green see wipe off my brush a little bit and just kind of blend that out so I don't want any more of that deep blue green I mean sorry any more of the milk okay then I'm going to go back in with my that um, stiff 217 that I was using with my stomp which was that um, like a violet color and I'm going to use post haste I don't like any of these matte squared eyeshadows and I had bought it and you know how that goes lost my receipt 
it's not going back. So I'm going to be trading it soon. So I'm just going to blend this in here. This look is like definitely for going out. I mean, I wouldn't advise you wear this to work or on an interview or anything. <laughs> but um, yeah, just go in here and just keep building on the color. It's a matte squared shadow, so it has tendencies. See how powdery it is? I mean, I barely even touched it. And it has tendencies to um, just be real powdery and uh, give you a lot of fallout on your eyes. So just be very careful. And you can go as bright or as soft as you want. Let me touch up right here, too. Next, I'm going to get my uh, 226 brush. It's from the BBR collection with MAC. And I'm going to use uh, carbon and define my crease, my outer V. So I'm going to go right in here, work on my little V. And I'll work on the lower half of my eye in a second, but I'm just getting the upper half done. Just kind of blend that out into the V. Make sure your eyes are symmetrical. Look at the two of them stand back. Okay, now I'm going to work on my lower half of my eye. Go back in with the same brush, the 213 that I used for the deep blue green pigment. And I'm going to lightly dust that under here. Then next I'm going to use my um, 228 brush. It's really tiny. And I'm going to use that uh, post haste again. I'm going to dab that on the middle, probably middle one third, overlapping slightly with that uh, deep blue green pigment. Okay, let's see a little more up close. And then I'm going to use my uh, 219 brush from MAC, get a little more of that milk pigment. Or any kind of soft, light, violety um, highlight or any color, just to bring out the purples and the pinks more in that viol in the uh, post haste. I'm gonna dab that on the inner one third of my eye. Okay. I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk blending brush and just kind of soften right here out. Okay, next I'm going to be using my uh, 266 brush and carbon or any matte black eyeshadow that you have. I'm going to spray with a little Fix Plus so it has some like setting power on there. Ugh. Dip that in my carbon, shake off any excess, and just go really close to my waterline with that. The Fix Plus helps it to stick because you know a lot of times carbon can give you fallout. So okay, I'm gonna kind of clean up the rest of the fallout that I have over here, and I'll come back in a second show you. The I'm back you guys and here's the final look. I'll um, zoom in some for you so you can see it close. Definitely a party look. So next time you're going out, you know, think about it. it might be something you want to try out even with different colors. Uh, I'm also wearing um, Plum Soft Lip Liner, which I love, and Enchantress Lip Gloss on top, all by MAC. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.